to happen again. This is the second time, this is the second time in 32 years that a model has been smiling at the camera and crash. It's Sunday morning on CBS, and here again is Jane Pauley. It's TV's longest running game show, The Price is Right, is turning 50. We ask Lee Cowan to come on down. If you don't watch your back, backstage at The Price is Right, the price just might be a limb. Everything is on the move back here. There's games, prizes, cars especially. All pushed into place as if every battery in Hollywood was dead. But despite the controlled chaos of CBS's oldest game show, Still refresh. we found host Drew Carey just minutes before air, as calm as he could be. What kind of prep do you do? Do you really? None. Is that <laughs> I don't right? do any prep. There's no prep. Here's your host, Drew Carey. But as soon as the door opens, I know just what to do, and I'm ready to go. Oh my goodness! Twenty-five thousand dollars. Carey has made the show his own, despite the fact it's been on TV for fifty seasons. Fifty. Like, everything's the same, but it's not. But it's not, right. Bob Barker! Bob Barker was the first host, starting way back in 1972. Think about that. Richard Nixon was president. Jane Fonda was taking home her first Oscar. And Barker <laughs> was giving away brand new cars that cost less than 3,000 bucks. Six! Six! Let's see number six! <laughs> to this day, there are a few places on TV or really anywhere else, where people can express such public displays of affection. I don't take it for granted. Even after all this time? No, are you kidding me? It's playing games all day. Its fans are some of the most loyal in the galaxy of game shows in our orbit. Energy and persistence is the key. Rosendo! Come on down! Rosendo Alvarez has been to 180 tapings of The Price is Right. That's a record. So what kept you coming back? Uh, just for the fun of it. Congratulations, buddy. Nice to see you. He's made it on stage twice. The last time, winning big. You got it. Yeah! I've seen this guy at so many tapings since I've been here. He's been here 180 shows, just sitting in the audience. Stand by. Open it. That's part of The Price is Right's charm. Unlike reality TV, few here really root for anyone to lose. Get it, get it, get it! $25,000! Especially the cast. Well, one thing Drew always says is, it's not our money. I know that's not horrible, <laughs> but he's right. He'll say it on TV, he's like, it's not my money. I hope you win it all, you know? Rachel Reynolds and Manuela Arbelize are two of The Price is Right's models. Not the only ones, mind you. There are now male models, too. That's one of the big updates in the last 50 years. We have a lot of viewers that like, that like Devin and James right now, <laughs> yeah. But the biggest change, of course, was the host. All right. Bob Barker had been at the helm of The Price is Right for 35 years in 2007 when he finally decided to retire. I never met anybody who had a job that long. <laughs> have you? Like, no. that's like unheard of anymore. Right. Carrie remembers meeting Barker at this legendary old Hollywood haunt, Musso and Frank, to discuss the very real fear that when Barker left, the price is right, might feel all wrong. Does that yeah. all seem like ancient history now for you? Uh, that big transition and everyone talking about it? And yeah, it does. But uh, at the same time, you know, it, every day it's from the Bob Barker studio and People still show up with Bob Barker shirts and with his picture on their shirts. Bob Barker! Bob Barker! Bob Barker! At the time, Barker was practically Hollywood royalty. Carrie was a blue collar comic from Cleveland. A brand new car! <laughs> Getting paid to give away prizes that growing up he could never imagine affording is still a little surreal. When you're a guy in Cleveland that's just a regular guy, you can only dream of so much, realistically. Nobody in my neighborhood had a lot of money. If anybody ever said they had a, they got a new car, you would say, oh yeah, what year is it? <laughs> <laughs> Carrie has always been funny on the outside, ever since he was a kid. 
And when I was younger, I would memorize joke books. 2,000 insults for all occasions was one of the big ones that I had. <laughs> but he was struggling on the inside. The self-described nerd as a teen, he says he was plagued with self-doubt and unworthiness. I had two suicide attempts when I was younger, when I was like 18. And uh, I was like really depressed and lost. I didn't know what I wanted to do with myself. Even in junior high, I, I would walk through the hall and instead of saying, excuse me, I would say, I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry, like I was sorry for existing. He dropped out of college and joined the Marine Reserves. And when I was in boot camp, I was like, so excited to be part of a thing, you know, and I got some, a lot of pride back into myself and they could yell all they wanted, I didn't care. I was just so happy to be part of this, like I was part of this big thing hmm. and I was doing it. Would you welcome Drew Carey? His later successes are well documented. Johnny Carson made him a stand-up standout. I'm the only one that still looks like his graduation picture, though, so I'm pretty happy. <laughs> I know it's funny and everything, I just don't think looking like this is worth that one joke. <clears throat> but anyway, uh... Nine seasons of The Drew Carey Show made him a sitcom sensation. Man, Chuck, I really gotta thank you for letting me in your carpool like this. Although, it is kind of rude, you haven't introduced me to your girlfriend. <laughs> Why do you think that show lasted as long as, as it did? Oh, man. A mismanagement at ABC. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas hoedown. And the game show, Whose Line Is It Anyway? Christmas is a holiday that I really hate. There's nothing about it to which I can relate. So every December 25th, I kick off my shoes and go down to the deli and hang out with the Jews. Made him realize that just being himself was all it took. I didn't start out doing stand-up and think, oh, I'm gonna have my own sitcom someday. Right. I couldn't even dream of it. Hmm. I couldn't even think of that. Much less, the price is right. You ever pinch yourself that all this has happened? All the time. That's crazy. All the time. There it goes. 10,000 in the middle, 10,000 in the middle. You got it! So here's to another 50 years for a TV time capsule and to average Joes everywhere. Who on the price is right can win big including the host. That's it for me and Bob. Thanks for watching, folks. Bye-bye.